take this part of the bed today and basically attach it to the rest of the model. Like so. Just remember guys, when you put this part on, just to have it lapped over the rest of the hood, if that makes sense. So you'll have troubles getting this bottom screw in. Hey all, welcome back to the channel, it's all three. Hope you're doing good guys, hope you're well. Today I'm building more of the Titanic from Hashit Park Works. And we're at issue 86. I think this week's gonna be another quick issue guys. If you wanna get this for yourself, check out Hashit Park Works website guys. It's a wicked website and you'll be able to build this also and come along with me and build it. If you're not already guys, remember to subscribe, like, also comment and share and press that bell notification not to miss out on any future videos to do with the Titanic or anything else on the channel. But without further ado guys, let's crack on with the Titanic from Asher Park Works. So thanks for joining me today with the build, Titanic build from Hatchet Park Works. Issue 86 already guys, let's get this thing open. Okay, so first of all we'll take a look through the mag and then we'll have a look at the parts we've got in this week's issue. Coming next week we've got another section of the hull lower starboard size plus screws you can just see that there at the bottom left of your screen let's have a quick look some beautiful ships there guys at the content in this week's mag usual good expected content guys and then oh little picture there from the famous movie the titanic back out in the 90s i watched that at the cinema with the wife I remember that <laughs> Anyway, today then we've got the next section of the hull, upper port side, you can see it here. And we've got three KM screws and three PWM hexagonal headed screws. This is the part we've got today, guys. And that is it. It's basically gonna be fitting this one piece to the rest of the hull, to the ship. And it's gonna be the next section of the port side of the hull, creating a window, if you can see on the diagram below where the engines will be in the future. So yeah, let's have a quick look at the parts. So here we have the screws, which I just mentioned. I do love where these are packed. Look at that. Then we've got that. Beautiful. Look at the texture, the colour on that, guys. The, the paint. Look how big that is. It fills the screen up. Yeah, I'm not going to hang about guys. In fact, that goes that way around, I think. And this is going to create a window with the rest of the hull already fitted where the engines will be seen. I think it's that way. Let's have a quick look at this mag. So, that'll bug me if I've got that the wrong description for you. Yeah, I think it is. That's right. I tell you, it's going to go on like that. And then you've got the bottom of the ship here. So yeah, without further ado guys, let's get the rest of the model over and get that fitted. Okay then guys, so at the top of the screen here you can see how massive this, the Titanic build is just sitting waiting to be added to. What we're going to do first though is apply two BM screws into that hole there and that hole on the left there. So if we just get these put in. Remember guys, apply a little bit of oil if it's going to help. Let's show you how that looks in a sec once it's in. There you go. Easy as that. And then take the other BM screw. Put a tiny bit of oil. Just 
from the tip and again screw it into that hole there tight and then we have those two BM screws just there and there let's get that oil off there's a bit of oil gone on there and now what we're going to do guys is attach this to the rest of the ship right then guys so we've got to take this part we've had today and basically attach it to the rest of the model like so and then all we've got to do guys is apply two LM screws and that is it. <laughs> We're done. So let me just get the LM, LM screws here. And get those attached. Yeah, so it's just basically guys two screws today. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll give you a little shot of it, how it looks. And then we'll be moving on to next week with the next part. See, that's a dodgy screw, that one there. Got no thread on it. Right, so let's get this one in. Just remember guys, when you put this part on, just to have it lapped over the rest of the hull, if that makes sense. Whereas you'll have troubles getting this bottom screw in. But if you've got it right, you'll know it's right because you won't have any issues with this screw going in. So yeah, let's just put this last screw in. Bear with me guys, if you can't see what I'm doing, I mean, just want to get some pressure on this screw. But yeah, that's what we've done today, those two screws. And as I say, when you pull it, it does have a lap of a couple of millimetres. If it's on top of that whole part, you're not going to be able to screw the screws in. But yeah, you should be all right. Do that nice and tight. And that is it, guys. <laughs> that is it for this week's issue. We have now applied the next part of the section of the hull the port side and now we can see where this window here which I'll do an end video in a minute that's where the engines are going to be sitting guys and you'll see the window through there do hope you enjoyed it guys come back next time hope to see you there take it easy see you in a bit and that is it for today guys for the Titanic build from Haship Park Works basically we've just fitted another part of the whole port side and now we've got that little window where you're going to be able to see the engine when it's all put in to this build. It's looking beautiful, guys. Do hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you're not already, remember to subscribe and press that bell notification. You will get notified every time a video of the Titanic or anything else on the channel comes up on your device. Thanks for your support, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. See ya. Peace.